Hello to all my beautiful knights and queens of the world. You already know who it is. It's Mr. Royal Diamond, aka Mr. Nevis, coming back at you with another phenomenal video. You heard me? So let's get into it. I'm just full of life. <laughs> so my topic today is gonna be it's gonna be about declare God healing, you know, and I feel like a lot of people need this in their life, you know, because a lot of time people wanna a lot of humans don't like being in pain or in suffering or in sadness or depression or like struggles. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes when you're in the midst of those things, you for you tend to forget that you have a powerful God on your side that understands you, that loves you, and he can do all things. There's nothing that he cannot do. So whenever you find yourself in those emotions, in those situations, or in the valley of despair in your life, always know you can declare God's healing. For example, you know, like if you're going through something, you can say, I declare in the name of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that I will overcome this. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, I am healed. I am free from the shackles of this struggle or this pain. I declare my freedom in the name and power of Jesus Christ. And when you begin to invoke his name and declaring it, you're walking by faith. You're declaring it. Whatever you speak out your mouth will happen in some form or way or fashion. That's why God said, be careful what you say especially when you're full of negative emotions because when you're full of positive negative emotion what you say become empowered it becomes stronger it happens quicker you know what i'm saying it end up it's like you know what i'm saying so it's like that also when you're in negative emotions you got to be careful what you say because your tongue could be a double-sided sword you know your words hurt and sometimes you may say something you cannot take back that's why it's so important to continue to always walk in that positive and positivity and positive emotion. This is why he said you have to declare the things that you want by the sound of your voice. You know what I'm saying? So, forgive me. You already know. But you have to declare the thing by the sound of your voice. And when you do that, you show God that not only you trust him, but you're walking in confidence and trust that he will do these things for you that you are living in his truth and his word and his promises because god doesn't want you to suffer or hurt or be in pain and none of that he wants you to be healthy and strong he wants you to understand the difference you know what i'm saying because you can feel the pain but it's not as much if you don't invoke god in the situation if it's not if you're walking by sure conviction because sometimes pain is necessary for your growth you know what I'm saying? Depending on that. But sometimes, peace a lot of people are not grounded in God and that harmonized relationship, knowing His word, then that's why they sometimes end up being lost in their pain. It might take them longer to come out of it because they're so blinded because they're in it. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going through something, you can declare god's healing in your life that's why in the bible there's many scriptures of healing and overcoming you know what i'm saying that's why it's so important to understand his word and to continue to read and apply it but most importantly whatever you don't understand from the word from somebody else when you go to church or whatever from tv from whatever it is make sure you talk to that with god so he can clarify what that really means for you in your journey how to apply that in your specific situation you know what i'm saying so and i think it's just it's just an incredible um relief and sensation of knowing that we have the escape you know what i'm saying that we can always run to god and he will keep us safe and he will love us protect us he will not let no harm come to us Sometimes it's hard for people to understand this because there's because the reality of their life they're facing that pain. You get what I'm saying? Just like my own experience when I was going through through my trials and tribulation, my hurt and pain, my darkness, my lostness, all of that craziness, all of that chaos. I knew one thing for sure: to always run to the Lord, to always run to God, to always run to His to His Word because His Word is bond, His Word is true. Regardless if you're feeling like you're falling apart, if you feel like you're crumbling, if you feel like you can't even breathe right because the pain is so much, it's unbearable. But when you run to God, 
he sustains you he keeps you and he supplies your healing in abundance and when you start declaring these things you start seeing a shift of difference of change in your life you begin to be like oh wow god is showing up and showing out god is doing above and beyond exceeding things from what i could ask him or imagine you know what i'm saying so oh excuse me because I, yeah, I, need, I need a little hair trim you know what i'm saying but that's why it's so important and you know and i was just thinking like what topics what topic you know because i talked to god about this you know because he's the one who gave me the topics so it's good you know just to spread you know that that for what you call that that breakthroughs for people or that you know some kind of advice some kind of healing something that will help them move further along in their life and then you know then it came um what you call that then they poof you know like the topic he's like boop you know and then it was like you know declare god's healing and i know a lot of people in this world are hurting are lost are sad are all are are lost in this false reality of certain things um you know and it's time to get back you know it's time to get back with god it's it's time to to trust god it's time to build that relationship even if you fail even if you sin even if you feel like you just stuck in sin, you know, because sometimes people don't want to um, realize the hold that sin can have on someone, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes, you know, we cannot overcome these things by ourselves because it belongs to God, you know what I'm saying? We need His help because at the end of the day, sometimes we face things that are spiritual grounded, you know, they're spiritual based, they're not physical, they're spiritual. That's why you have to understand God, you understand His Word, talk to Him every day. So you can walk in his mercy, in his grace, in his protection. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to be trapped in these delusions from the enemy, the delusion from old programming, the delusion from even your false belief system that you created yourself. You know, because your words is attached to it. You understand what I'm telling you? Because sometimes when you're in the midst of sin, in the midst of entertaining the things that you, you should not, um, you end up becoming upset frustrated you begin to kind of like deteriorate your your worth your truth and you end up making poor excuses to validate um in those engagements and the things you shouldn't be engaged and i feel like a lot of people leave god or they kind of like ah oh, because they feel like they're not worthy you know but god makes you worthy god already says that he loves you he will never leave you or forsake you you know there's nothing you can do that will make him love you any less he, he forgives you for your sin. The moment you, the moment you confess your sins and you ask for forgiveness and you forgive other people, he forgets about them. He forgives you for them. He, he, it's, it's like from the east to the west. You understand what I'm telling you? And something that you need to find out within yourself, like this, this applies to me too. You know, I am his child. I, I declare him as my Lord and Savior. I am his child. He does love me. You know, I'm not a mistake. I'm not a failure. I'm not a mess up. You know what I'm saying? You have to build God within yourself. You have to build your self-worth based on God's word. Because your self-worth, who all that you are, belongs to him. That's why it's so important to continue to meditate on his word. To memorize these scriptures declaring his healing. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean. But like I say in all my videos, I love you. God bless you. I thank you. Comment, like, and subscribe. Share. You already know to take the world by storm. And just go to the Lord and run to the Lord for whatever it is you need. Talk to him. Open your heart to him. And he will cradle you because you are his precious child and he loves you. No matter how old you are, no matter how young you are, no matter how far gone you are. You can be in like in the depths. And the moment you declare God as your Lord and Savior, he will rise you up out of all of that. Because God is faithful and he hears all of your pain, all of your cries, all of your needs. He's never blind or deaf or mute to to anything that it comes to you. You know, when it comes to you, you are you are his precious child. He is listening and he is waiting ever so patiently for you to come to him and recognize our Lord and Savior. But until my next video, peace, you know.